Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media. We are back with This Week in EDM, where you go over songs that came out this past week in EDM. That's pretty self-explanatory, I would say. Uh, we got 17 tracks for you guys this week, and as a reminder, all the songs that we talk about in this series uh, are in a Spotify link below. If you are a Spotify user, so you can go check out all the songs ordered from top to bottom uh, in best to worst of the week, personally. So, And we put them all into five different categories. So let's start in the bottom category. We got trash songs that I think are, are pretty trash. Typically Dutch by Armin van Buren and Wild Styles featuring Polly Anna. Uh, just another short slap house track here. It's got this weird Dutch narrative that we're supposed to like feel sorry for them for and they like clap back at the end. If it ain't Dutch, then what's the point? Like it's it's just weird. It, it's bad production, bad theme. Oh, how the mighty have fallen uh, with Armin van Buren. Uh, moving into the bad category, songs that I think are they're, they're bad. Uh, we've got Gumby by DJ Hansel, who is Dylan Francis, by the way. This is the house alias of Dylan Francis. Um, an underground house track here, uh, but there is next to nothing going on in this track, I find. A very little structural change, and without a real hook, this is a dud of a track. Moving into Just Words by Dubs. Uh, hey, yeah, just some, some more basic house, uh, but this time it's a little deep, but not too deep. Um, you could always almost call it Shallow House, and I'm gonna call it Shallow House. Let's just call it that. And then we've got Lose It On You uh, by Tasaki and Sublab featuring Tima D. Uh, another quick track from Tasaki on Bass Rush here. I think there's some upcoming project here just with the, the way the album art all works together. Uh, but just back to his regular kind of trap sound with surface level vocals. Uh, and I'm honestly tired of hearing him produce the same thing over and over again on uh, on Bass Rush right now. It's, it's, it's quite annoying personally. And then we're moving into the meh category songs. I think are just meh. Maybe you'll like them. Uh, we've got Bad Habits by Roy Knox, Have, and Mike Robert. I uh, personally didn't really feel this one a ton. I really don't know why I didn't like it, but personally, I just, I don't know. I just didn't connect with it in any way. I gave it a bunch of listens, and every time I was just like, I got distracted or felt like I just wasn't really engaged in the track, so I don't really know. Um, I feel like maybe it was the, the choice in synths. I just thought were a little off. Uh, just, I don't know. Overall, the, the songs didn't, didn't appeal to me, so... Uh, then we've got Stay a Little Longer by Nikki Romero, Dub Vision, and Philip Strand. Uh, this is your standard commercial house. Um, not much else to say. If you really like commercial house or like progressive, you will like this. If not, you'll think it's a derivative track that you've heard a million times. Simple as that. Then we've got Elysian Hardcore by G. Jones, the new Illusory, Illusory? I don't even know how to say it correctly. Illusory Tracks EP. Uh, G. Jones is popping off as of late with so many different projects, especially working with Eprom so much. Uh, but this is yet another experimental trippy song, but uh, this one is a little bit more, I won't say too out there for me. It's a little lackadaisical on its structure and minimal sound design uh, comparatively with his other stuff. And so this makes it, this makes this track in particular feel like more of a filler uh, on an EP. So they've got Let Me Go by Sullivan King and Wooly, uh, the second single from the upcoming Thrones of Blood LP, I believe in March of 2023 from Sullivan King. Um, wildly different structure and genre across the multiple drops here on this record. You've got your kind of alt rock sound that I really enjoy and I think it, it sounds great and clean. Uh, and then your just brooding bro step that is just possibly the worst Sullivan King drop I've heard in a while. Um, I, like, honestly, if it was just the kind of the alt rock kind of that, I would really, really like the song. And if it was just the bro step drops, I would think this is one of the worst songs. And so it's just, that's why it's right smack in the middle here. So then we've got Poison by Rehab, Timmy Trumpet, and W&W. &W. This is probably the furthest up a Rehab and Timmy Trumpet song have ever been on this list. Um, this might be the best track from the two of them. I haven't heard a ton of W&W, &W, but surprisingly good, I think, from Rehab and Timmy Trumpet. Uh, it's just your classic festival sound, but it sounds like they actually put some effort and real time into making this track not just a dumb, mindless headbanger. Um, that being said, it just barely didn't get into good. I think it's still, I think it's a good track, but not like a good category track, I would say. Speaking of good, uh, this is the good category now. We've got eight songs in good, no standout this week, sadly. But uh, we've got My Mind, the Bad Jokes remix, originally by Tony Romera, featuring Karina Rampage, or Ramage. 
Um, but yeah, so at first I heard the song a ton and I was like, oh, I wasn't too impressed with it. But the more I really thought about it, I was like, I actually really, really like this. It's a solid house remix of the original electro pop centric sound, um, but it kept the prominent old school synth and soundscape that the original introspection album had. And so I think it fit really well within the broader theme of the project and overall release of it, even though this is a remix that came out a long time after the original. I just, I think it worked really well. Uh, then we've got Leviathan Flows by Dr. Ozzy. I had not been a huge Dr. Ozzy fan in the past, but uh, this one was really unique, and I think it struck a, a good chord with me. If I could describe it genre-wise, I would say this is a mix of rhythm and jungle, um, which are kind of similar genres to some extent, um, but uh, it's just like uh, this. all of it's hectically thrown in together, and it sounds as if like... You take, you take a lot of good things and you put them all in a blender and you're like, even though this is a lot of good things I like, it's going to taste maybe horrible. And you're like, oh no, this actually tastes pretty good. That's what I feel like this song was for me personally. So uh, then we got Higher, the Stone Bank remix originally by Pegboy Nerds and So Fawn. Uh, an average Stone Bank remix is a good song for most other people. And this is, this is exactly that. Uh, a more reserved remix with a lot of breathing room here, not a ton of real intensity, which I actually really liked. Uh, definitely one of the better uh, Nerd Nation tracks, I think, as of yet from that label. Then we got Randomize by Auto Nose featuring Alex Eris. A groovy house track with simplistic yet effective uh, beat and sound. Uh, an earworm that relies a lot on its minimalism and I think works, works quite well. And uh, then we've got Black Hole by Sharks, uh, Maya, and Grab It's a really, really toned down, almost down-tempo, sad, somber track uh, with some beautiful vocals and some nice narrative lyricism here. And uh, it's just one that you kind of sit back and you're like, whoa, and you're like, I didn't expect this to stay as low as it did and uh, still be as solid of a track. So that's Black Hole. Then we've got IDK by IO and Lights. The Warehouse Summer LP is out. It's a posthumous album from uh, IO. Technically his first, uh, so first and posthumous album as uh, his family decided to release this project with Lights. Uh, and so this is this is IO's first and posthumous album. And this is actually, to be fully honest, this is my first lesson I've ever done or have had of IO's music. I'd heard about him and I heard about his death. Um, but uh, I was actually, I was really quite impressed with this. I still haven't listened to the whole album. I've just listened to pretty much just this song here. Uh, really relaxed track with great vocals and just a smooth performance. And so I'm really excited to get into the rest of that LP at some point in this next week. Our runner-up track of the week is Space by No Manor, fe no Manor featuring El Esha. Uh, no Mana has been killing it with the Monster Cat releases as of late, and this one is a little bit less electro-focused and a little bit more just house, um, but still within that same quality and clean production sound design that uh, we've kind of come to know and love from No Mana, especially on these couple Monster Cat releases. So, And our top track of the week is Will I Ever Find My Way Back Home by Aussie. Uh, I, I almost could have thrown this one in a standout, I think, personally. Uh, there are so few producers, I think, out there that are just doing such great, grander, atmospheric tracks that really build and bring you on a journey almost every single time with even their single releases. And uh, I've, I've really come to love Aussie from that recently. Um, I haven't listened to a ton of their stuff, but honestly, I, I'm blown away with the stuff I have been hearing. So big, big ups for that. Um, it's really exploratory track here and just one, again, very similar to Black Hole with Sharks, Maya, and Grabbits, but it really, it does kind of come in for that climactic finale in the end where the other tra track does not. But uh, that has been it for this week in EDM. Let me know what you think of any and all of these songs in the comment section below. And again, as always, everything is on the Spotify playlist in the link below. And uh, I've been Bowtie Media. I'll see you guys in another video.